I'm joined on Skype by former Mr. S.A. and actor Andrew Govender. He stars in the movie Free State and is here to tell us all about it. Hello. Hey, hi. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me today. Well, thanks for joining us. I mean, you've moved to L.A. since, since I think we last heard of you. What's L.A. like? Oh, LA is just amazing. It's, it's an actor's paradise, really. I mean, it's the place to be if you want to be in TV and film. And I got the opportunity to audition for some really cool um, projects over there. So, I mean, I'm really enjoying it. I get to do all my actuarial stuff. Um, you know, I work a full-time job with that. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm juggling a lot of stuff over there, but I'm loving it. It's a cool place to be. That's incredible. Now, the movie you are starring in, Free State, is set in the apartheid era, and it's, it's a love story about, about two people who aren't allowed to be together. I know the movie came out yesterday, but why don't you introduce us to the story for those South Africans who haven't seen it yet? Yeah, sure. So Free State is a story about an Indian man who falls in love with a white girl during apartheid, and their struggles really to be together. I play the character of Ravi, who's very much a family man. Um, he works in the family spice shop, and he's arranged to get married to an Indian girl, um, whom he realizes that he doesn't have a lot in common with. Um, and at that stage, he meets Nicola Breitenbach's character, and they just fall madly in love with each other, and that's when the story really starts to heat up. So, don't want to give it too much away, but that's a quick snapshot of it. I want to talk about working on the film. What was your favorite scene to shoot? Uh, you know what, it would have to be, there's a scene where we were sitting by a lake and um, it was just like a really, a, a really kind of, it's a, it was a scenic scene really. Uh, you know, we had the mountains behind us, we had a lake, the sun was setting and I just remember it, it was a scene where Nicola and I we had to like connect a lot and I remember just looking at her and I was just, you know, just mesmerized by her beauty to the point where I even forgot that I was doing a scene and I forgot my lines. Um, so I think that was one of my favorite scenes. What was it like for you to to go into a mindset um, that brings you back to, to apartheid. What was it like to make that transition and, and get into that heads, headspace? Well, I grew up post-apartheid. I mean, so for me, I never, even though I heard stories growing up about what people experienced during that time, I really think that unless you're within that generation it's, it's, and experiencing it, it's very difficult for you to really grasp it. Um, so I just really had to go and try to do as much research, research as possible. Um, I went on YouTube, I tried to watch as many videos as I can um, to try to figure that out. But you know, it was really just eye-opening for me to learn about how people were treated during that time within our history. Um, it's quite sad. What do you hope audiences take away from the film? Well, it's a love story. Even though it, it's set in a time during the apartheid time in South Africa, it's, it's a love story at its core. Um, so I think you know anyone who loves a romantic movie is going to enjoy that part of it. But for me personally, I was able to take away the fact that um, it was just very informational, you know, and I was just really educated throughout the entire process. Growing up, I kind of always wondered, you know, how were Indian people treated? What names were they ca called during that time? And with this movie, I was really able to understand that. Um, so I really hope a lot of South Africans go and watch it just because I think just for our, just our own general knowledge of our country and to understand where our people have come from and what they've gone through. I think it's just really informational. Now, this is one of your first major roles as an actor, so congratulations on that. What, what are you going to be working on next? Where can we expect to see you next? Um, well, there's a few movies right now that I'm discussing with producers. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to do that maybe later on um, in the year in South Africa because I want to come back. I want to be able to do uh, more productions over here. Um, but right now I'm in Los Angeles. I'm auditioning for some really cool TV shows and, and movies over there. Um, so I'm really hoping to land something big soon. Um, but if that doesn't happen, I'm still kind of working on my day job and that's keeping me really busy. So either way, I'm going to be busy in the next few months. Well, everyone here in South Africa is backing you. One 100% so we hope you you make it big in LA and we'll all be cheering for you from here.